it is me, Lifestimmer, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Pets LP Part 45, which is actually kind of crazy that it is Part 45. Um, so we are not where we left off. I did do a little bit of gameplay off camera, including Mr. Grayson aging up. Um, yeah, that's about it. And I also just had Mr. Andy come up here and uh, begin his repairs and everything. Well, not repairs, but, you know, making them unbreakable. So far, he's got done this bathtub and he is 73% done with the shower up here. So... He also gave the dogs uh, some flea baths and just stuff like that. It's actually a full moon tonight. <laughs> hate my life. Um, but no, Mr. Andy is just going to go upstairs and uh, work on that as well. And unfortunately, the garden, what we're going to do tonight, because I don't want the zombies getting to my garden, is I'm going to put another fence around uh, my garden. I really don't want them. I really don't want them to take my garden over. So, what we're going to do is we're going to build a fence around it because they're not going to touch my effing, my effing garden. So, yes. Bring on the full moon because they're not going to get to my plants. They might get to the ones up there on the, on the deck, but... You know what? This one's wilting, so they can eat that one. And this is harvestable, so we're going to come here really quickly quickly and harvest um, our blackberry bush. And I think tonight as well, we might go ahead and... Uh, we might go ahead and look for a um, unicorn. But what we're going to do is... We're not going to get attacked by zombies. I'm going to have Oliver go ahead and head to bed. Uh, because this zombie keeps trying to attack my sim. So he's going to go to sleep. Yep, he's going to go to sleep. And Andy's upstairs working on this. And we're going to wait until about um, midnight. Till we actually... Um, oh, we, we can't even get right there until we head out to look for unicorns so what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to skip until then and i will get right back to you guys okay Alrighty. so it is about 1 a.m now and we're gonna go ahead and look for a unicorn i'm really hoping it's out who knows if not we'll you know we'll keep trying and everything um pretty much where you can tell the unicorn is is it will have a rainbow aura above where the unicorn is so it's it's not hard to miss um I've seen them you know in a lot of my gameplay not only you know here in Appaloosa Plains but in Lucky Palms like everywhere every town has a freaking magical unicorn running around um but yeah I don't see it which actually really does suck um Okay, so I guess one is not out tonight. We will try again. We're going to try every freaking night because we do need a unicorn, definitely. Ooh, we should go on a, uh, um, a horseback trail or go horseback riding down this trail. I think that'd be really pretty up this mountain and all that good stuff. Alrighty, so we'll definitely have to do that, but we will just go ahead and I guess go to sleep. Andy's in a really bad mood. Alrighty guys, so I will just go ahead and cut back to uh, you guys and in the morning already. So I will be right So it back. is now morning time and um, we are going to see if Captain will uh, sniff little Grayson. Say what's up Mr. Grayson. Grayson's following him like crazy. He's like get over here puppy. <laughs> He's so cute. Look at him in his little diaper. And walking with his head all sideways. He's like, bitch, I can't get down there. Fuck you. <laughs> Alrighty. So it's the first day of fall, which is nice. What we're going to go ahead and do is um, get Grayson a walker. And we're going to put it outside. And he'll walk around the yard and just have a good time. So yeah, let's uh, go ahead and have Oliver put Mr. Grayson in his walker and there's actually a dog social hour going on so i think that would be kind of fun if we if we go visit that let's uh let's go see what it's all about is there actually puppies here or is nobody here nobody's here lovely um but yeah why not let's have the dogs go ahead and head here and um maybe have a little bit of a social hour Alone, I guess. <laughs> I mean, we might as well. 
Um, so once Oliver puts Grayson in the walker, he will go here with Captain and Cotton. Alrighty. God damn it. All right, everybody move. Everybody move. Grayson, get out of that corner. That corner is so annoying, let me tell you. If somebody gets there, nobody can go downstairs. Nobody at all. All right, let's put Oliver, not Oliver, let's put Oliver in the walker, yes. Let's put Grayson <laughs> in the walker. Andy Waters is beginning to feel a little ill. Alrighty, we're gonna come here with Captain and Cotton and, you know, just go play some ball, maybe some fetch or something. And Andy, what are you doing, buddy? He's, uh, he's gonna eat some waffles with his daughter. Or actually, he's like, peace, bitch. I'm not eating breakfast with you. Would rather not. Um, <laughs> he's just gonna go, uh, go eat alone, I guess. Look at him and the relationship with the Woohoo 400. Uh, meet three new sims, human or pet, to get an awesome party moodlet and become a socialite. You know what? We'll go ahead and try this, even though there's, like, nobody here. Um, let's see. Can we actually talk to anybody? Or... Or is nobody gonna show up? Or... What's up? And it's raining out right now. What's no fun? He's like, let me run inside because it's raining. You're not going home, buddy. No. Go, um... Go catch some butterflies, right? Why not? Oh, and Andy just got his weekly check. Awesome, awesome. Why don't you two go swim in the doggy fountain? All right, and we're catching butterflies right now. We just caught a butterfly, that's, that's fun. We can release it or we can give a name to our butterfly. Why don't you, uh, not rake the leaves. Go catch another one. Now we have two butterflies. Um, yeah, there's like nobody here. So what is the point of even doing this? Why don't we go buy an ice cream? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> where's the ice cream truck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We left a location while the event was still going on. Well, nobody was effing there. So that's what happens. Oh, there was a burglar. Alrighty, we are going to purchase a... A fudge popsicle, because if I was to buy an ice cream, I'd get a fudge popsicle. What the fuck? <laughs> if I was to buy an ice cream, it would be a fudge popsicle, because I love fudge popsicles. There was actually a time when I was a little addicted to them. Like, I would buy boxes of them and just eat them. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. I saw an, a raccoon the other day, and I actually, like, got out of my car, walked up to it with my friend, and we were like, I don't know, like, in squat position, like, clapping our hands at it, seeing if it would come down. But it was during the day, so I was like, yeah, we should probably just walk away. Not mess with these bitches. I've had enough experience with them. All right, let's see. What are they doing over here? Talking to the burglar. <gasps> Eunice Clinton. Eunice Clinton. Right here, Andy wants to insult Eunice. You want to know why? She tried to steal from us and we kicked her ass before she could. So you know what, Captain? Don't be nice to her. Don't be nice on her. Don't. Growl at her. Pee on her. And I wish we could, t like, attack her. I would attack her in a heartbeat. Bitch. <laughs> She's like, you should not be doing that, buddy. You should not be doing that at all. Yes, yes, look at him, look at him peeing on her. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Chase her away. Oh, she didn't run. Chase her away. Chase her away. Go on, Captain. Chaser. What the hell? What a bitch. Pee on her again. Yes, take that. Take that, Eunice. Chase her away. She's. I feel like she's just not going to uh, run. Like, leave. Seriously. 
All right, Cotton. Mr. Cotton, why don't... Mr. Mrs. Cotton, why don't you go ahead and head home? Thinking these two, uh, I think it's time for them to try for another baby, in all honesty. But at the same time, I kind of just want to take her time and... Um, and everything but then at the same time this lp is going to be ending before you know it we're already on part 45 well not already this lp has been going for an effing long time but you know what i mean like i just it's weird because this lp is just it's been going on for so long and it's just it's nuts that it's coming to an end but you know what like i told you guys i honestly it's gonna be good it's gonna be good once you know this lp ends and late night ends we're gonna have new fresh lps on this channel and i just cannot freaking wait <laughs> so andy's gonna come up here and take a good shower and um use the toilet andy go on buddy come on go shower he's gonna shower use the toilet and just relax a little bit and uh i like how their kids out in the rain he's just out in the rain Learning how to walk. Oh. Oh, they're gonna keep him out in the rain too. <laughs> He's enjoying it. He's not complaining. Oh, we can actually take down um <laughs> we can take down our fence now. Alrighty, so let's just do that really quickly. Alrighty. And once it stops raining, I will be more than happy to go ahead and go outside and rake up some leaves and everything. But I don't want to do it while it's raining. Um, Captain, you can head home now to both of you. Cotton and Captain head home. And what time is it? It's 3.33. Uh, Bailey, instead of watching TV, why don't you go ahead and read your volume three writing? What is it called? Writing writing volume three sunsets and other fun things to do woo um so we're gonna go ahead and just you know work on this until about 5 p.m cool she's a level seven now and uh let's go ahead and jump on to miss rose over here all right grayson just learned how to walk you can come inside now buddy you don't have to be out in the rain anymore awesome alrighty so we're gonna jump on the horse do the heroic pose which you unlock when you be uh, master not master when you get to level seven of the jockey skill you are now able to be all heroic I've showed it to you guys before with amber but this is it it's cute okay we are going to go ahead and head to the equestrian grounds. Oh, it's effing Sunday! I swear, every time, every single time, every time I come here, every time, every time I come here, it is too late or it's Sunday. I hate my life sometimes. I do. What the hell? I swear, this only happens to me. All right, continue reading your book then. And Oliver, Oliver, let's do something different for dinner. Let's go ahead and let's call for pizza. Don't do that too often. Jesus! All right, pizza delivery, 30 simoleons. Yes, yes, yes. All righty. What the hell, man? Jeez. What's wrong with you, Grayson? Now you smell like yes let's go <laughs> change his dirty diaper and be a good little dad <laughs> and let's also attack him with the claw since he was such a good boy today <laughs> and let's uh tickle him as well I see. Are they both in a good mood? Oh, he's kind of tired. All right. I was going to say we'll teach him how to talk, but we'll do that tomorrow. Let's put Grayson in his crib and come up here. And um, actually, we need to put down our our little butterflies. Let's go ahead and put them. Where to put them? Where to put them? <laughs> Let's go ahead and buy a little table. Little 
little table up here. Where are they? Do, 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 do. That looks a little funky, but it's what we're gonna do for now. Just for now. And put my butterflies up there. Alrighty, so yeah, now we have some butterflies in here. That's pretty cool. It's a monarch butterfly. They're pretty common, but still, good to know. Um, let's go ahead and fill everybody's uh, food bowl up here. And let's play with our animals a little bit. Oh, the pizza's here. Yum, 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 yum. Um, Amber, you go ahead and answer the pizza man. What's his name? Terrace McNulty. Oh, he's like, ooh, what a little hot milf coming to get the pizza. <laughs> he's like running away from us, bitch, what? <laughs> Alrighty, like I was saying, let's go ahead and play with the animals up here a little bit. Let's, uh, let's uh, teach Penny how to talk about, let's get the greetings down, the basic, the hello, hey, all that. Let's get that down. She's like, um, I'm not in the mood to talk to you right now, Oliver, nor will I ever be, so goodbye. Let's go ahead and play with Patty. Why not? Patty the snake. Play with Patty. <laughs> oh, he got bit. Okay, let's go ahead and put away the mini python. You would think, you would think, if you got bit by a mini python, that you would be in the hospital. Just saying. I know that they can, like, take the venom out of them, but still. Um, it says you aren't quite sure how it all happened. Oops. You aren't quite sure how it all happened, but one moment things were going fine, then bam. You have a pet gnawing on you. Ouch. <laughs> um, let's also go ahead and play with Izzy for a second. Izzy the iguana. Um, and see what she's up to. Izzy. Izzy the iguana. <laughs> She's, like I said, I'm absolutely terrified of them. So me being this close to it right now. Oh, he got bit again. Oh my goodness. Maybe he should just not be touching these animals. Let's play with Penny really quickly as well. Just The Squiddles will be okay. Squiddles got enough attention in this LP. Let's go ahead and say hi to Penny. He's like, Penny, you're such a bitch to me, but I still like you. We actually can have a little bit of a personality or friendship with Miss Penny here, so we'll definitely have to do that. But we're going to go eat some pizza, right? Some, what, are, what type of pizza is this? It looks like it has some green leaves, not green leaves on it, some green peppers on it, some olives, and of course, cheese, hello. But let's uh, go ahead and everybody grab a slice. Uh, Andy's already in bed, so I guess it's just Oliver. And Bailey with like her Crocs on or something right now. What the fuck are you wearing? <laughs> but um, yeah, they're gonna go ahead and get some pizza. And I also think I'm gonna have Bailey go ahead and try for a baby. Why not, right? Just one more, just one more kid. Just one more. We don't want a ton of kids. We definitely don't. Look at, look at him. Actually, you know what? Instead of having a baby, I really want to adopt. But then at the same time, I'm like, I want Bailey to have another baby. But then at the same time, I want to adopt. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Let me know in the comments down below what you would want. I'm thinking if we adopt, she can still go horseback riding and do all the competitions and everything. But if she's pregnant, then, you know, she can't. But let me know what you guys think and, yeah, all that good stuff. Um, but what we're going to go ahead and do is have her go to bed. It's a Sunday night. Tomorrow's Monday. We're going to teach Mr. Grayson how to talk. We're going to go to our horse riding competition. So, yeah, we do have a little bit that we need to do tomorrow. So, I will get back to you guys uh, 
Done. Alrighty. Alrighty. So it is now morning. Well, not really morning anymore, but more afternoon. It's about 3 p.m. And uh, currently, Grayson is learning how to talk by Mr. Oliver. And we're also teaching Captain how to speak right now. It's going to be a little bit of a process, but, you know, we'll eventually get there. Um, Andy is back here raking leaves, you know, around the graves and everything. You cannot have just a bunch of leaves. Um, so Andy is doing... I love the raking right now, and at 5 p.m. we're going to go and do a competition, equestrian competition, and all that good stuff, but there is a lot of raking that needs to be done, and um, we also need to harvest all our fruits before the winter comes and do all that good stuff with Andy as well, so you know what, Andy, go ahead and take a break from doing all of that, and why don't you come over here and um, harvest everything um, that way, you know? We can uh, do all that. I remember way back in the day when we um, actually got producer walkthroughs of The Sims 2. I remember when, you know, gardening was introduced in seasons. Oh my goodness. Ugh. I watched that over and over and over again. Alrighty. Grayson just learned how to talk. Lovely. Bailey is going to go ahead and mount up on Rose now. We're going to stop teaching Captain how to speak. It's getting really dark. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and jump on Rose. Okay. And it's very foggy out today. Let's enter. Let's enter what? Let's see. Definitely need to improve our riding skill because then we will be like invincible. Uh, let's go ahead and do a jumping advanced. And then once we master the skill, we'll, we'll do everything. But let's go ahead and do this for now. Make some simoleons, right? Very good, very good. Go for broke. I, I honestly, like, bubbo, boo boo, bubbo. Rose is in first place, and boo boo came in second. <laughs> All right, and I think we actually have enough time to enter one more if we get out quick enough. Eh, eh, yep, yes. All right, we're gonna enter international again. Even though I'm pretty sure we came in like seventh or something, that's okay. All right. Go for broke, maybe, possibly. No. Come on. Come on. God damn it. All right. All right. We got 450 smolians. That's okay, I guess. Um, but yeah, awesome. Equestrian competitions. Are awesome. All right, Andy. I'm pretty sure he harvested a lot of fruit today. Yep, definitely. Lots of peaches and lemons and all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and open up the fridge and uh, do a little bit. Let's see. Open. And yeah, let's go ahead. There's a cake in there. Lemon. Peaches. What else do we have? We have lots of fruit, actually. Wow. Lots and lots of fruit. Awesome. Cocoa. Lots of pears, for sure. Just put this all in here. You know, why not? And I think that's it. We have a plasma fruit seed that I guess we'll just throw in there. Um, but yeah, that's awesome. Lovely. Now, you know, now we have uh, lots of fruit stocked up. Oh, look at this. Cole's going to be aging up pretty soon. It's awesome. Throw a birthday party for Cole. <laughs> oh, Andy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. See, this is not good. Andy's exhausted, so he's not going to repair it tonight, but tomorrow... I'll make sure that he does. What are you two doing? The house is that way. You two go home. Um, oh, it's actually midnight right now. So let's see. Is there a unicorn out? Don't think so. <sighs> that sucks. <laughs> I really want a unicorn to come out. It can be anywhere. It goes until I'm pretty sure about 5 a.m. is when they disappear or something like that. I'm pretty sure that's when they 
they like evaporate or something up into the, like the sky. I don't even know, but they they go away. Um, yeah, not that I see, unfortunately. Alrighty, guys. Well, <gasps> oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, oh, we're so tired. Oh no, get get the fuck off, Rose. Go now. There's a unicorn. <laughs> and here's the unicorn, Aries horse. Um, so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and end this part here. In the next part, we're going to come here with Bailey and kind of, you know, feed it treats and, and get to know it. So I will see you guys next time already. I love you guys so much. Bye, guys.